<laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Wonderbread. I got a uh, a Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops analysis trailer. So we're gonna start off by reading this. Um, well, actually, you guys can pause it. I'll read it to you real quick. It says, um, "In survival mode, you will fight off waves of increasingly difficult enemies as you earn XP and unlock reveal types of armories." And to expand your arsenal and load out customizations along the way, and you're gonna unlock upgrades and missions as you gain XP and an increase in level throughout the survival experience, survival challenges, along with leaderboards. This allows you to compete a bit, com blah, compete against your friends. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna pause right here, 11 seconds. And you guys look right here. Oh, first off, I want to say, also they uh, 402, the um, the community manager Robert Bowling confirmed on Twitter that every single so look at this map real quick every single map in spec ops is also available to be played in multiplayer or vice versa whichever way you want to look at it but then we're gonna see also to the right um, next to like where the bus is um, this it looks like it's in uh, London obviously it's got a double-decker bus and you got the London flag up there on the left but um this shows the killstreak armory which is the uh, shown by the jet plane and then it shows the um, it shows the pistol, which is the weapon armory, and it shows the gr grenade, which is the equipment armory. And then we're going to pause right here at 12 seconds. I haven't seen anybody talk about this yet out of all the trailer analy analysis, anal whatever's, analysis that I've seen. And this right here, does it look familiar? Yeah, it should, because it's the same uh, red dot site as from Call of Duty 4. Yeah, so they've already announced that they're that they're gonna bring guns back. They're bringing the MP5K back for sure, and um, they're bringing back the red dot sight, and they're bringing back the gun. And then also in the bottom left, it shows your kill streak meter. Which if you get to a certain kill streak, your the meter goes all the way up. You get five hundred dollars, and then it starts over, and you keep getting the kill streaks, and you get more and more money. Same thing with headshots. And then also underneath the the uh, the map right there. It's cool because it tells you how many enemies are left. Right now it says three enemies. Well, uh, that's cool because in Zombies, in Black Ops, and Call of Duty 5, you just had to go off really the, like the rule of thumb because you didn't know if there how many people were left. Or you got, I mean, you would know obviously if there's like one or two guys left, but you didn't really know how many. You know what I mean? Like you didn't really know how many. We're gonna go on and then we're gonna pause it right here and. To me, that gun looks like uh, the scar, but I'm not quite sure. That's just a guess for me. But um, and then right here to the left, you see, um, you see the equipment armory. And sorry, I was I was looking down, and now if you look at where it said hit uh, kill streak and headshot, now it says quad kill and kill streak. I mean, oops, my bad. It says quad kill on the top, and on the bottom it says knife streak. So that's pretty cool. Like just a random challenge is probably I guess that's pretty dope. Oh, and then if you pause it right here, 18 seconds, it says knife streak on top and then assist. So it just must it must just be challenges that you, if you keep getting and doing that, and you just keep getting money. That's pretty cool. And there's the eight new AK, new side for the AK-47. And yes, guys, this trailer is from Game Trailers. I downloaded it. And then right there, when you dropped in at 29 seconds, it says um, it's confirmed for sure, for sure that. That uh, it is definitely Spec Ops is definitely gonna be two players, which is disappointing because Black Ops is four players and Spec Ops was only two players. Spec Ops was a real fail in Modern Warfare 2 because all it was was the missions and you just gotta play with your friends, which was alright, but there was not really any replayability as you could definitely tell that this is gonna have a lot of replayability because it looks pretty fun. It looks like it's always changing, but four players would have, I don't know. They obviously they know what they're doing so. Two players is good, but I mean, it just it kind of sucks that that there's not four players. But I digress. So you start with, you see right here, the uh, the challenges have changed. It says headshot and rampage. Rampage is probably, but then it also shows that the new unlocks you get is you got extreme conditioning, which is also a Call of Duty four. I, we're I feel so gay saying COD because COD's like a freaking fish, and I hate when people say it. But whatever, COD's pretty easy to say anyways. But um, from Call of Duty 4 is extreme conditioning, and you got sit rep, and then you got steady aim. So that's pretty cool. 
And then it shows you get it in your in your kill streak one. So I guess that's where, probably where you buy perks. That's very dope. And then also if you pause right here at 36, it shows uh the smoke. The smoke is Laker purple. That's pretty dope. That doesn't really have anything to do with the game. I mean, it's not game changing, but I just thought that was cool. They got the model again. And then if you pause it right here, it says it says refill uh, ammo, and then it says this this USAS 12, which I'm guessing is a spas. I have I have no idea. I suggest a random guess. Don't don't write me down on that one. And then you see the model 1887, which you could buy. That's pretty cool. M16, dope. AK47, dope. And then it says ACR, and then it's actually also got the M60, which is pretty cool. And then okay, pause it right there. Everybody that I've seen has just not haven't hasn't said one thing about this but watch this clip I got real quick hmm guess what game that's from Call of Duty mother freaking 4 this is they're bringing back the the what's it, the G36 okay and then I also did a little screenshot from both Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 3 to, to prove it okay now look at this one from Call of Duty 4 look at the scope it's at, it's square it's two dimensional um, look at the uh, the barrel stock, how it's like rippled a little bit. Look at the top where the iron side is, and look at the the reload cartridge. Look at all that, okay. And then look at the one of Modern Warfare Three. The same iron sight, the same barrel stock on the side, the same thing on top. This guy, guys, this this gun is one and the same. Um, I'll give you a side by side comparison, and you tell me if it's not the same gun. Look at that. I mean, every, everything looks exact. I mean, it's a twin. And then also at the end, because at the end, I could see why people are thinking that it's the ACR. Because at the end of this clip, it shows that you can upgrade. It says you can upgrade uh, the ACR, which is pretty cool. First of all, if you could upgrade it, I don't know what it's going to upgrade to, but it says you can upgrade, so that's pretty cool. And then it says upgrade the ACR 6.8, I think it says. Yeah, 6.8. That's pretty cool. And then, um, so they were clicking it, and then right after it would show, obviously, the the G36. I correct myself, C. I looked it up, G36C. And so people thought it was the ACR, but guess what, guys? It's not. And then on, at the bottom, you can see again, it says flash kill, and then it says knife streak in the bottom left. So that's some more challenges. Pretty dope. And then right here, pause it, and you see the equipment armory, which you can buy frag grenades, flashbangs, claymore times five. That's a buttload. That's pretty cool. And then uh, you got C4 times five. You got auto turret. You got auto grenade launcher. Looks pretty dope. You got last stand. Last stand is definitely not in multiplayer, but they, there's got to be something where you can revive people. So, you know, that's cool. It, it might be like um, in Borderlands where you know how when you when you die and then right after you die you kill someone you get a second wind that could be how this is that's another random guess i'm completely just you know going off the top but i'm giving also giving you guys facts so this is pretty dope and then also at the bottom one of the cool features that i saw it also says share five thousand dollars one of the biggest things that i wish that you could do in in uh zombies is you could share not the biggest but i mean one of the things i wish you could do like one guy that's just racking up points he's got the ray gun he's got the wonder waffle he's got the best guns and he's got fifty thousand points well he can't give you any because he, and he's got all perks he doesn't need them anymore so he should be able to give him away, right? Well, in this one, you can. And he's got five grand, so that's pretty cool. And this is only, I think this isn't far into the into the rounds. So 5,000, that's that's pretty good. And then if you go, keep going on right here. Whoa, 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 let's, let's rewind that. Okay, guys, watch this right here. Okay, look at that. Okay, here, let's look back at, at the, uh, the equipment army right quick. About the one, two, three, four. I'll give you guys a little arrow. The auto, the auto grenade launcher for four grand. Okay, 
Now, if you watch that clip, I saw people were saying, "Oh, look, that looks so cool." Guys, they show you it in this in the in the freaking in the trailer. Everyone's so stupid. No offense to you guys, but watch. The okay, so you can see it in slow motion right here. The guy's sh shooting, and when he's shooting, he got the money before he got the points before he killed the guy with his gun because he didn't kill him. He just got hit markers after. You see the explosion first. Then you see I'll show the arrow for the gun. The the turret and then the explosion that's obviously not from bullets and there you go there's the auto turret grenade launcher looks pretty dope if you pause right here it says air support armory the delta force allies dropped in via via chopper that's pretty cool and you got ride shield you got predator missile and this guy's also now got nine thousand dollars i don't know why i said it like that and then they drop in the make. It seemed like that's those are your homies. I think that is your homies because it showed green dots on there. So that's pretty cool. There's that purple smoke again. Oh, that was like an AC-130. That was pretty cool. If you pause it right, 124. You see the ACOG scope on the uh, on the AK-47. It looks pretty cool. And they also said that there's going to be dual scopes in in this in Modern Warfare 3, and they haven't said if it's going to be for multiplayer or or it's going to be for multiplayer. But they haven't said if it's going to be for Spec Ops. And then there's also announced that there's going to be a new grenade that does nine consecutive flashes, which is pretty crazy. I hope it's not in. I hope it's not in multiplayer. If it is, it's gonna be you'll be able to take like a whole freaking team with that. If it's in Spec Ops, that'd be perfect. And then also, if you pause, if you look at all the way, if you look at the top, uh, the radar, you see a Pavlo. Sorry about that. The P's really make the mic go crazy. But at the top, you see a little Pavlo thing, like what looks like to be a Pavlo in the radar. So that's pretty. That looks like another kill streak. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's not a kill streak. Maybe it's just dropping the guys in. Yeah, my bad, guys. Just dropping the guys in, but it, I guess it is a kill streak because those those guys they drop in are kill streaks. Actually, no, that's a bad guy. That's the juggernaut, and they've also said that the juggernauts um, are there's gonna be different types with different weaknesses and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Even though I hated juggernauts so much in Modern Warfare 2, they sucked Donkey Kong's hairy nutsack for sure. Riot shields. Pause at 138. You got riot shields. Riot shields. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Cause riot shields are were definitely needed in spec ops. Or hat. They were definitely yeah. They're definitely needed in spec ops. They were in it already before, but it's still, still pretty cool. Got the M16. Got some more riot shield. Got wave 19 cleared. And then right before, if you pause it. See combat performance, you get weapon bonus, knife streak. These guys are at wave 19 and they've got quite a bit of dope. Quite a bit of money. And then you got MW3. And you got this little this little teaser back here at the end right here. Alright, he looks like he pulls out pulls out a secondary and the secondary looks like a machine pistol so that looks really cool and then he's got like this four bouncing Betty thing which pops up in the air and this noob walks up the stairs and then also if you look at the left as I'm sure you guys already can tell look at that look at that uh, that radar that crap's like a whole new map and it looks like by the ocean too that's pretty cool there if you see right right under the radar there's a sunken ship where uh, Johnny Depp is that's pretty cool and then you got like this five bouncing Betty thing and jumps up in the air and then also if you look on the bottom uh, left corner it's got you could cycle through your kill streaks which is pretty cool and then also the next one up is a juggernaut and it's got the little the kill streaks shows you how many kill streaks how many kills you have towards your kill or towards just how many kills in a row for your kill streak and then that's pretty cool because I've always I've not always but I've been you know I've had a rough number in my head by the kill streaks I already have. Like, say I, I kill five, and obviously I know I killed five. And then, like, if your next um, kill streak is until 11, then you're like, oh shoot, I don't know how many I have in your between kills. Well, this one fixes that problem. So that's pretty cool. And then, as you can see right here, if you pause it at 205, look at this, okay? Now, 
for obviously as you guys can tell it's got 14 point kill streak which is what which is crazy because uh if they're not kill streaks anymore they're called point streaks because they said 402 said in a tweet that that um that he that they redesigned the entire kill streak system which is now or the killing system which point streaks so that sounds cool that means maybe you're going to be rewarded for getting the objectives maybe you'll be in a for getting assists maybe anything like that and then also in the bottom left you could see he got him with a bouncing betty looking thing but uh their emblem in the kill feed is a freaking ac-130 what what that's that's crazy confusing and then you see the cod xp at the end cod xp guess what guys I'm gonna be there so yeah um I'll make another video on that talking about how excited I am but this video is long longer than my wiener so I gotta go guys and that was the proper way how to do a in-depth highly in-depth thought out trailer analysis alright guys till next time I'm off like a prom dress peace